Hey guys, what's up? Today I am showing you something really cool with the Nintendo Switch and this is modding. In this case we are modding Skyrim. So I want to quickly just show you the save that I did. So you can see here Mods are currently loaded. Note, achievements are disabled. Do you wish to continue loading this save? Yes, we do want to do that. And there you can see that Bethesda actually wanted to implement mod support and Nintendo probably didn't want that. So I installed the mod cheat chest and actually not really to, to cheat. I'm going to uninstall this mod now. Because this was just to test out. This is a good mod to actually test out if mods are working at all or not. And it took me quite a while to get it running, to be honest. And it was because of such a stupid, ridic ridiculous reason. So in White Run, in White Run, if you go down here, with this mod enabled, you're gonna see a chest called Cheating Chest of Gear. And as you can see, there's all the stuff inside, which is actually quite cool. But I don't like cheats, but it's cool to see all this ancient Falmakuras, for example. I, didn't, I think I never saw that one. So the mods are working. So what do we have to do to actually enable the mods? It's really simple. You just have to access your SD card and I'm going to use this one so actually I think it's still connected yeah it is still connected so we are on SXOS therefore we need to install our mods on SXOS First, I had it in the atmosphere folder. Obviously, that didn't work. Um, I have something installed there, but it needs another plugin to actually load stuff from the atmosphere folder. It's, it's a little bit complicated for the Witcher mods. So, in this folder, you're going to find titles. And then you have different game title IDs. And this one is the one for Skyrim. I'm going to put it in the description in the video description as well so if you open that you have two different set of folders xfs and romfs and we are going to need the romfs so inside this folder you have again two files one is the Sk skyrim ini i'm going to provide this for download in the description below so you can just download it and then you have the data folder and there you are gonna find the actual mods so cheating chests I'm gonna put a link down in the description below for you is the one to test it out if it's working or not and then next thing after you put your files there is actually to go inside the Skyrim ini and here you're going to find this bracket or this part which says s test file one dawn guard etc and it says dawn guard half fires dragonborn hyrule and then starting with five actually here there is an s missing um you have the mods that i installed enhanced blood and the eyes of beauty and cheating chests and cheating chest is confirmed to be working the other ones not too sure this one for sure didn't work maybe it will work now after you inserted the name of the esp file you are done and you can actually just go out and yeah go your merry way but there are more options here and since we have the capability of overclocking this can become really interesting because you can actually change Skyrim here and yeah 
it's it, it should be really interesting to try out what you can do there i think i'm going to do that soon let me know if you're interested in seeing that in the comment section below i could just try out to really push out the graphics really far and go for a max overclock and also install more mods and yeah you you can see here for example the water reflection of lots decals all kinds of things be an able water blend i think a lot of options are possible there but okay i'm getting sidetracked this is it with this tutorial if you enjoyed it or if it helped you then let me know by leaving a like and also subscribing to this channel and hit that bell button that would be super amazing I would be super thankful for that i wish you um, an amazing christmas time probably with your family enjoy that for sure and well when you are done obviously you want to save that and it's going to basically re-upload it to the nintendo switch and this is it um it took me three days or something like that or a couple of hours over the part of three days to figure it out the problem was with my with my skyrim any there was brackets here and this is the reason why it didn't work so you see that is pretty pretty interesting Okay, that's it. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.